Yeah, so this is managing MAC addresses. We already talked about uh, MAC addresses if you remember. Okay, so this is a bit advanced now in CCNP level because we already discussed about to so let me open GNS. You will need a GNS. I will install and configure GNS for you on your devices because packet tracer is not more enough for CCNP level because a lot of command is missing there. We will use for normal procedure, but for the advanced level, we will use GNS. GNS is a simulation software, same like a packet tracer, but it's advanced. You can configure router, switches, firewall, a lot of stuff here. Even though you can connect them with internet, with your own systems, with the physical devices. So they have a lot of things like these are firewall, IDS, IPS. These are system switches, router, a lot of things. So you can configure anything even though you can use on CCI level as well. So they have a lot of stuff here. And you can connect with your VMware like I am now connected with my VMware virtual box. A lot of stuff. Okay. So you will need this. So let me grab a switch from here because we will do first switch. So where is the switch? Yeah, this is switch. So this is my switch. Okay. And let me start them. Okay, so we talk about so so I have nodes as well for every separate things. This is a uh, switch. Yeah, this one. So you need no need anything. I have the official slide as well and my own slide as well. Like I have started, I have reconfigured this CCNP switch. This is number and step by step and then commands and a bit introduction so you can understand all these. Okay. So you will get these notes, so it will be very easy for you. And the last I will put the labs as well. So you can give exam any time and you are ready. If you just study this material, only 65 pages or something. I make them simple, okay? So okay, we talk about money uh make address. What is make address? Media access control. We already talk about we say this is a we call them physical address, so uh hardware address we can check them and cmd like a git make command so these are my make addresses it's called physical addresses well okay we already study about this in ccna level these are make addresses. this is a 48 bit and we say the first six digits is assigned to the company in oui excellent so you have to know the basic now okay so these are assigned and we check them online as well if you want to find out suppose this one right click mark and enter and we can go to internet and find out this this make address belong to which company like uh, make address lookup or finder we can a lot of website it we check all of them so let's me check any one of them is not showing a lot of stuff so yeah just copy and paste the make address is here and yeah no vendor so let me copy another one sometimes they are showing so let's suppose this one enter and paste them here so you say this is vmware and definitely i'm using vmware so it will show because just because of these six digits we just need these it will show you the company because it belong to oui organization unique identifier so you can check them it's called a lot of things and as in, in hexadecimal we already study hexadecimal number so hexadecimal started from 0 and 1 2 3 and then up to 9 then a is 10 and all those stuff okay so we talk about this either you can use ip config slash all command and window it will show you the mac addresses as well okay either we can go physically to the LAN card and just click on the LAN card just go to details and if we check them so this is the physical address we call them MAC addresses have one addresses a lot of things okay so you can check every devices MAC addresses like this but what about and switch how can we check them so every interface have different MAC addresses so we can go to like this is my switch so first let me configuration and change the house name so it's look like a switch okay now and let me clear this okay so what we can do show ip interface brief these are my interfaces let's suppose i want to know about the mac address of any interface yeah. show show interface ethernet 0 slash 0 suppose 
so here we will find the MAC addresses of this device this is the MAC addresses okay this is an example sometimes they show you with dart and more or and sometimes like this okay mm -hmm. you can change them as well the, if you for a test purposes if you want so go to the same interface interface and which interface here zero slash zero and here make address it should be why it's not showing yeah make address is all together this way sorry make address and suppose i want to say one two three one two three and one two three before that was like yeah. this okay yeah. i make them change mm. let's say give them something uh, yes in three now we can give them anything one two one two and one two okay so i send them 12 12 12 just suppose okay yeah so now i can check them show interface eight zero slash zero so my mac address is they put the zero zero and begin to make them the full group as we say okay so this is my mac address now i change them to this you can do for test purposes okay so the mac address is we already know it's a media access control it is unique and switch do communication based on a mac addresses they store the mac addresses we say where they store the mac addresses what is the command for to store the mac addresses store. yeah show mac address table that was mm -hmm. if you remember yeah. So nothing is here oh, at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So let me attach some systems so that we can check them. Suppose if I'm going to attach two VPC, two systems, and Ethernet, and let me attach to zero zero, and I will attach this this to zero one. Suppose. We start for virtual. Uh, yeah, virtual PCs. Uh -huh. These are uh, any VMware. If you want a PCs, so let me start them and go to attach uh, assign them ip go to system one pc and also this system so, okay so i have two pcs and switch right. so let me go to pc one and attach them ip suppose 1.1.1.2 and it is the subnet mask here you can attach like this i assign ip this is not the proper way as we know but this is a simulation so no. If you need the detail, just type question mark. It will show you how to. Okay. The same. I will assign IP 1.1.1.3, and eight. We know already. Eight means 255 one time. Okay. You can type 255 as well. So 1.1.3 and 1.1.2. These are my two systems. But let me go to assign VLAN one some IP SVI. We call them. So how we assign IP to VLAN interface VLAN one like this we assign if you remember IP address 1.1.1.1 and 255.0.0.0 and no shutdown just for the management purposes and to communicate with the devices okay so this is the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one eighth one ninth one tenth one eleventh one twelfth one thirteenth one fourteenth one fifteenth one sixteenth one seventeenth one eighteenth one nineteenth one twentieth one twenty first one twenty second one twenty third one twenty fourth one twenty fifth one twenty sixth one twenty seventh one twenty eighth one twenty ninth one twenty tenth one twenty eleventh switch port mode access and switch port access vlan1 we already know as vlan1 but we just for the sake of interface it's 0 slash 1 same here switch port make them switch port and switch port mode mode make the mode access and switch port access vlan1 we already done these yeah. things i just put these two pc in the vlan1 and make them access port that's it just for test purposes our main target is make addresses okay so we are going to make addresses okay right. okay right at the moment no pc have communication make address table nothing is here okay they are already here dynamically learn mm -hmm. okay so this is my pc one if i show here uh, show ip so my make address is this one okay zero 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 five zero seven nine so it's here zero zero five zero seven nine and the same as here of this pc sorry show ip okay so these two make addresses because they have done some communication they're sending the r request so that's why it's already here let me clear them and show them again so that you can 
so how we check show mac address table they say both the system are in vlan one we already know mac address is 0050680 and both are learned dynamically and one has come from interface 0 slash 0 and the other is 0 slash 1 and definitely they are here 0 0 and 0 slash 1 if you do communication between these so they will send their mac addresses to router a switch like 1.1 so i can ping so they get like this dynamically okay so both addresses are here so mac address show us the table for these okay now they say dynamic okay so for how long these addresses will be in mac addresses we talk about this in the ccna the MAC addresses will be here for how long, if you remember? Uh, period? Yeah, how long period? Show MAC address table aging time. Tens of second, if you remember. Mm -hmm. It's become like 5 minutes, I think so. Mm -hmm. We talk about. So, how we can check them? Show MAC address table mm -hmm. aging mm -hmm. time. They say by default, the MAC address will be stored in the MAC mm -hmm. table for tens of seconds mm -hmm. three, three zero zero seconds yeah, yeah th sorry i was yeah. speaking over though uh, three zero zero second means it's become like uh, five, five minutes, minutes i think so yeah five, five minutes you can change them as you wish okay mm -hmm. so this mac address will be for three zero zero seconds if they don't do any communicate it will be flush and it will be clean mm -hmm. okay it's here still sorry this one it's still here yeah. if you want you can remove uh, remove manually as well like what is the command clear make address table mm -hmm. which thing dynamic mm -hmm. this is the command clear make address table dynamic if i show the table again there will be nothing okay if i do communication again so it will send and one make address will be now here yeah one is here because the other pc didn't communicate yet if the other one also do some communicate so it will be here again so now we have to make addresses with interfaces and dynamically okay what about if i want static one you can do static one suppose how go to configuration mode let me clear it so you can see in the video recording properly what is make address table static and then the mac addresses i suppose one two one two one two suppose suppose one five okay this is my mac addresses and from which we learn we learn yeah. to support okay and my interface and the interface at e zero slash three that something will come from the interface his mac address will be one two one two one five and he will be in VLAN 2 just store in your MAC address table this details mm -hmm. it's okay now let's do how to check show MAC address table again look at 2 is dynamic mm -hmm. the other one I told them see this is static my MAC address is 121215 and this is static and they will come yeah so static will remain there mm -hmm. from this port yeah okay but if i say clear mac address table okay so i have only dynamic option so if i show mac address the static one is remain okay so now how to remove the static one because there is no option to clear mac address table static okay so the same procedure we will follow we will go to configuration and the same command which we type and we will put what we say in ccn as well no uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so if i now check out show make address table there is nothing okay so this is our two procedure we can put the make address statically either they will learn dynamically if they do communication first time switch do communication on the base of make addresses which is called media access control either physical address a bun address hardware address a lot of things they are called them okay then we configure static address we check we clean the table okay so let me check if we missing anything these are command you can find it here we say make okay now we can check the 
we say the aging time okay the default aging time is show make address table okay let's first see the show commands for make address we can check addresses okay for specific make addresses we will show them and they will show us only the specific make because if they have a lot of devices they will show you a long table mm -hmm. if you need the specific one just tell him that i just need this mac address okay if you say aging time show me the aging time we are sorry here aging time so the aging time is 300 seconds okay and if you need that show me only count what is count how many mac address you will store in the table how you can support so they say we support oh, a lot of 18335 a lot of mac addresses they can mm -hmm. store in mm -hmm. so every switch have different one maybe someone store 50 yeah, some model. yeah based on the uh, okay so now this is it's called count right. how you can store them in your table okay the other thing is dynamic show me only the dynamic list okay show me the specific interface detail mm -hmm. show me the multicast only show me secure one which is securely and stick mm -hmm. one okay and the static one we already say either for specific vlans mm -hmm. like if you say show me the for vlan one right. because we don't have just put something here so let me communicate okay so if i say for vlan one so this is for vlan one they show me okay if i say only show me for interface which one eh0 slash 0 so again it will show me the same one so you yeah yeah so you can do a lot of things here if you need a specific information so you can get the specific information as well so these are the show command the address we already say if you want to look for specific mac address the aging time to show how long the packet will be the mac address will be in the mac table okay and the count we say how many number of mac addresses will be stored in the table if you want to see the dynamic the static one the secure one or for the specific vlans okay now let's suppose the aging type we want to change them it's up to you just go to configuration mode the one which we done there is for the enable mode command mm -hmm. now we are going to configuration and here type mac address aging time okay so i say the aging time suppose they say you can put zero to disable them mm -hmm. but we don't want to disable them yeah. okay yeah. it's up to you like suppose this time i say 40 okay like now check them show mac address sorry time show make address table aging time now it show me 40 the default one i change them so you can change the aging time okay and you can change them okay so these are the command we already checked the table the dynamic the static the count okay for specific and even you can clear them your table and you can change the aging time as well this one the aging time so this is the mac address all about the mac address they will give you different scenario and questions mm -hmm. from this they will say what is count are those stuffs like this okay mm -hmm. so at least now you have uh, the view to what is mac address because we already discussed in ccna mm -hmm. is it clear yeah, okay very clear. very clear so let me yeah let me stop this video